Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, was salatu was salamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the 17th juz in Surah Al Hajj, ayahs 8 through 10, A'udhu billahi min ash shaytanir rajeem, wa min an nasi min yujadilu fillahi bi ghayri ilmin wa la hudan wa la kitabin munir. ثاني قد فيه ليذل عن سبيل الله له في الدنيا خزي ونذيقه يوم القيامة عذاب الحريق ذلك بما قدمت يداك وأن الله ليس بظلام للعبيد. In translation, yet there are among people others who wrangle about Allah, though they neither have knowledge nor guidance nor an enlightened book. Twisting his neck in arrogance to lead others astray from the path of Allah, for such people there is disgrace in this life. And on the day of resurrection, we shall make them taste the punishment of burning fire, saying, This is what you prepared and sent forth with your own hands. Rest assured, Allah is not unjust to his servants. Our Creator has warned mankind time and time again to not associate others with him, nor invoke others besides him. Despite the warnings, many without knowledge nor guidance will invoke their own whims and desires or the laws of man as deities besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man who is weak, dependent, and without knowledge of the unseen does not and cannot possess the ability to legislate besides Allah. Does this not lead to misery and corruption? Does this not lead to poverty and anguish? With no correct rational thought and no clear transmitted text, what they say is based only on their opinions and whims. Ibn Abbas and others say they are too proud to follow the truth when they are called to it. They bend and twist their necks to turn away from the truth out of pride and arrogance. Such as when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Musa alayhi salam with a manifest authority to Fir'aun and he turned away along with his hosts. Without the proper guidance, without the proper knowledge provided to us by the one who created us, we all surely will be at a loss. It was reported that Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu says, Verily we were disgraced people, Allah honored us with Islam. If we seek honor from anything besides that which Allah honored us, Allah will disgrace us. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran tafsir, and sirah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.